Did you know that there's a book in the Bible full of songs written to God? It's true. The book of Psalms is a song book full of songs and poems written by different people from Israel's history. There are 150 of these songs, each one written to God as an act of worship. One of them, Psalm 119, is 176 verses long, which by the way is pretty long, and has a movement for each of the letters in the Hebrew alphabet, all written to show God's glory and his character. Others are a lot shorter, like Psalm 120, which instead tells a story of God's faithfulness during a time of war. There's a lot of variety in these Psalms. Some songs simply talk about how awesome God is and spend time exploring his qualities, while, while others show the writer crying out to God in their darkest nights, showing true rawness and pain. Worshiping God through music should be like that for us too. See, you see, music can give us a way to express worship to God when things are good and, and things are going well, but you know what? It can also be a way to articulate intense and complex emotions that arise when we're in the fires of our life. The psalmist, King David of Israel, is, is probably the most famous of all the writers in the Psalms. And he sets for us a great example of using music as a tool to worship God with authenticity and genuine candor. You see, in Psalm 23, a psalm we encourage you to read last week, uh, David says this, he says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Clearly, he's in a good place in his life when he writes this. There's, there's a lot of joy in the words of Psalm 23. But by drastic comparison, one of the rawest psalms in the whole book was also written by King David. Psalm 51. This was written after David had committed a horrible offense. He murdered somebody and committed adultery. And he used his leadership as a way to, to, to make that happen. And yet, even in the depths of the guilt and the conviction that he felt, David manages to write, deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God. O God of my salvation, my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. You see, worshiping through music is so much more than reveling in the emotion that music can create. Music is emotional by nature, but what worshipers of Jesus learn to do is to put the emotion into perspective and to choose. You see, sometimes they're pleasant, other times they make you feel like your heart's being ripped out, but the reality is that worship and music is all about choosing what your response is going to be. Choosing to rely on God in the green pastures and in the valleys of death. So. Are you in a green pasture or a valley of death? And, and what will you choose to do? Will you choose to worship in either place? Click the link below to worship right along with me as we sing a song together, and we can practice this together. Next week, we'll be looking at some more ways that you can worship Jesus. So like or subscribe in order to be notified. Comment below or send us a message about what God is doing in your life with these worship foundations. If you'd like to grow deeper in your journey of following Jesus, I would encourage you to join one of our online small groups by going to wearecourageous.church. Now go worship Jesus.